what is up? So in this video, I am going to be explaining why SAB has been so dominant over the years and why you should be using SAB instead of X-Force and why the Sentinel has affected like the fighting styles and why it makes the SAB a lot much stronger than it is already. But before I start this video, I want to let you guys know that the CBO ammunition, also known as the soccer ammunition, is a lot stronger than X-Force and SAB, but I'm going to be explaining that in another video. This video is mainly focused on SAB and the Sentinel effect. Okay, so before I proceed with this video, I want to explain the Cubicon theory. And a lot of people already know this, a lot of people don't, so I'm just going to talk about it. When you shoot a Cubicon, you typically use the SAB ammunition. And if you don't, then you know, it's whatever. But 90% of the people use SAB. And the reason for this is because the Cubicon does less damage than you are sabbing the Cubicon for correct? So that means your shields either stay the same or go up. You're not losing shields until the Cubicon is out of shields, of course. Then you have to switch ammunition to X2s, X3s, X4s, X1s, whatever your heart desires. So this same strategy goes for fighting. If you have more damage than the opponent, then by you using Sab, your shields won't go down as much or won't even go down. Like it depends on who you're fighting. If you're fighting a bunch of noobs and they're doing like 30,000 damage together and you're stabbing for 45,000, your shields are not going down. You are literally just going to kill them for free. And the same thing goes for 1v1s. Like, let's say the enemy is on his speed configuration and he is hitting you 35,000 and for some reason you're stabbing him for 40,000, you know, you're running full damage, let's say. Your shields are not going to be going down. Obviously they will because there's RSBs that come into play. He's going to be shooting you RSBs and you're going to be shooting him RSBs, but you're sabbing all of his X4 damage, so the only damage that's getting to you is the damage from his RSBs, while you are doing all of your damage onto him. You know what I mean? Alright, so now that that's understood, it makes a lot more sense to start using SAB if you are running high damage configuration. So let's say you're running 3 BO2s on your battle config on your drones. Let's say you're running 2 BO2s. Let's say you're running 1 BO2. Let's say you're running no BO2s. Let's say you're even running 4 or 5 BO2s. You know? Anything that's not super tanky and that does a lot of damage, you should be using SAB. Okay, now that obviously was assuming that you're both running different configurations and assuming that you are running less shields than he is. But now, let's get into the math of it if you're both running the same configurations. Okay, so let's say that you're running only one configuration, the enemy is running only one configuration, and in that one config, you both have only 105,000 shields. Okay? <clears throat> And let's say that you're hitting around 50,000 damage with X4s. So what this means is that in two shots, he will be left with 5,000 shields. And in two shots from him, you will be left with 5,000 shields. Now let's say you use Sab. You're only doing 25,000 damage now. Now, if you're not using a Sentinel, it's literally going to be the same as you using X4s. You're just making the fight a lot longer. So now let's say that you're both using a Sentinel. And this is where the Sab really comes into play. So what the Sentinel does, it gives you like 30% more defense. So you take 30% reduced damage. So what this means is that if he's only hitting 50,000 damage, you are only taking 35,000 damage from him because 30% of 50,000 is 15,000. So 50,000 minus 15,000 would equal 35,000. So instead of doing 50,000 damage a shot, he's doing now 35,000 damage a shot. <clears throat> And what that means is that it no longer will take him two shots to get rid of your shields. Now it will take him three because 35 times three equals 105. So let's say you are going to be using SAB ammunition while he is using times four ammunition. And now let's say that you're both using Sentinels. So you both are taking 30% reduced damage. So he needs to shoot you three times in order to remove your 105,000 shields. So he is going to be doing 35,000 damage, another 35,000 damage, and a third 35,000 damage. And that will remove all of your shields. And we originally were shooting 50,000, so half of that is 25,000. And 30% off of that would be left with 17,500. So you, hit, you are only doing 17,500 damage to him. That is half of 35,000. So you may be thinking... Is, if I'm hitting half of what he's hitting, isn't that normal because, you know, the SAB is half of what the X4s do? Well, yes, it's normal, but you are using Sentinel, which means the more shields you obtain or the more shields you have, the better it is for you because for every amount of shields that you have, you are receiving a 30% protection on it. So you 
take 30% reduced damage. So now you are attacking him for 17,500 damage each shot, but you are receiving 17,500 shields back each shot you hit him. So what this does is this makes you much, much stronger because now the sentinel is affected by the extra shield you just gained. So although you are doing half of his damage, in reality, he has to shoot off more shields from you because you are gaining shields and those shields get the 30% bonus on them. His X4 damage doesn't get any 30% bonus back to him, you know, he's only doing straight damage to you. You're the one that's receiving the extra shields and now your maximum shields has increased because he has to shoot it all off, if that makes sense. Uh, dude, I just, fuck dude, I don't even know how to explain it. I have tried my best in this video, I promise you guys, I tried my best to explain it, but I swear my mind is just retarded, I go off and I just, holy shit, like if I made a whole blooper episode on how many times I fucked up in this video, you guys would just die of laughter because I am a retard. But yeah, anyways, I hope this helped you understand the Sentinel and Sab a little better. <laughs> Thank you for watching my video, and you know, you're all the best, you will be all the jackpot winners, and one day we will all meet up and share some laughs and stuff i don't i don't even know dude what am i even saying whatever just subscribe i guess like comment uh you could say whatever in the comment section and i'll see you guys next time i'm so fucking done man.